In Texas, we know tornado recovery can take a long time. And here in Jacksboro, they know what it takes to get there. No waiting around, we, we need to get to work, you know. It's been six weeks since the EF3 Twister tore through 90 homes and two schools in the city. But yeah, watching yourself, um, it, it's kind of like you watch a movie that you were in. On March 21st, Jacksboro Elementary Principal Michael Qualls got students and parents to the storm shelter, barely escaping the roof collapse himself. The guardian angels watching out over all of us, so it's a miracle. Without a scratch, he and more than 400 people were unharmed while parts of the school were destroyed. We're just so thankful and so blessed. Since then, Principal Qualls has been looking forward. If you continue to look behind and, and continue to question yourself, and that's, that's, not, that's not healthy. His kids are back on campus, and soon the destroyed gym, now demolished, will be replaced. We're just, we're going to take it day by day and, and hope that we can get back in sooner rather than later. Police Chief Scott Haynes has also been a leader in recovery efforts. Morale is high, we're moving forward. That day was the worst tornado in the history of Jacksboro, but he says the city may not meet the threshold to get federal assistance from FEMA, and they're not waiting around for it. It's a lengthy process, and you know, I'm, I'll be honest with you, you know, we, we need monetary donations, and we, we have donations set up at the Jacksboro National Bank. Chief Haynes, alongside Side principal Qualls continue to move ahead, better prepared today for potential storms to come. Yeah, it's kind of surreal for sure. In Jacksboro, I'm Tiffany Liu.